If you won't let go of the past, I might reunite you two sooner than you think. All right. After about a long, very, very long time, we have stumbled across the last story quest that I have to do. Hotel. We did every other one pretty much like the last two or three months. Finally doing this one. It's probably one of the oldest ones in the entire game. But let's do it, shall we? Go to Wu Wong Hill. I've also never even met Hotel before in the game, so. First time seeing Hutao in the game. This will be. I have no idea about this character, really. First time, and it's literally about to be 3.0. <laughs> I'm all ears. Why did we come here? Paimon's got a bad feeling about this. Why did we come here? Um, not that Paimon's scared or anything. Just, uh, concerned for your safety. It's just that... This is how lots of scary stories go. You're in an empty place, in the middle of nowhere, there's barely any <laughs> light, and then just when you least expect it, a stranger comes out of... <gasps> oh, I didn't have to see him. Ming? Undertaker? Wong Sun Funeral Parlor? Uh, quick, do something! Didn't you say you, were, you weren't scared? Didn't you say you were concerned about my safety? True. gonna eat Paimon. What is with the whole eating Paimon thing? Who are you? I'm a traveler. I came from beyond the heavens. <laughs> nice. Traveler? Are you from one of the other nations? Uh, no, I've never seen your kind of attire before. Oh, we're Electro, by the way. I forgot about that. Could it be that you traveled from... The other side? We died and came back? I'm just here for a funeral. I don't mean to offend. No matter who you are, there's no need for any ill will between us. It's pretty cool, because I've never seen anyone else from the Wongshun Funeral Parlor. Then again, I haven't seen anybody from the Wongshun Funeral Parlor. Whew. Seems he's just your average scaredy cat. He looks more afraid than Paimon. Did I scare him? But you're kind of terrifying? You are not terrified. Yep, yep. You should leave the introductions to Paimon. Don't be afraid. We come in peace. Zhang Li. Oh, I didn't think about that. I guess so. Yeah, that's true. Gods protect me. Gods protect no, me. No, no, Stop freaking out and stand still. Relax. You should not be afraid of anything like this if you work in a funeral parlor. Relax. Yes, whatever you say. Please stay your hand. Don't come any closer. I mean you no harm. Don't. Don't touch me. Hey, I already said nothing's gonna happen. This dude. Get the butterfly flutters away. Yep, he's the butterfly apparently. Was it something Paimon said? Let's go after him. He might do something stupid. Probably, yeah. Squirrel cameo. Yeah, it's like the perfect angle. All right. So Mang ran off. Apparently he's works in this field, but he's scared. Place well, definitely looks super scary. I was always wondering why it was so scary looking. <gasps> there she is. Who's that? I don't know. Also, why why are we here? <sighs> director, director, there's a ghost after me. <laughs> Who? There you go, exactly. How are we a ghost? I mean, I guess Paimon does look a bit different than most people. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Don't get too excited. These are clients, not ghosts. Oh, I forget. This is a. She has such good, like, super talented voice actors. It's Brianna Nikobaber for English, and then it's Ri uh, Takahashi for Japanese. But, yeah, I mean, for the sake of me understanding what happened in the story quest, I'll just stay with the English version. Exactly! We said we're not ghosts! Why won't you calm down and let us explain? Both voice actors are, like, super good. Although, clients doesn't seem quite right either. 
Aya, forgive me. This is Aya. one of our new undertakers, Mung. It's his first time working a funeral, so of course he's afraid of his own shadow. Oh, okay. I was gonna say this guy should not be scared of working in this field. This is first time. This is really the first time meeting her? Oh my god. Oh, you know Zhang Li? Well, that saves me a lot of explaining. I'm Hu Tao, the current director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, responsible for, uh, well, trifling matters having to do with immortality. <laughs> trifling matters. I only ever hear trifling. Like, yeah. A satisfying trade to be in, though. And Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is well known around town. Whatever the request, I'd be glad to hear it. He's an adorable looking character though. Like the hat. I don't think we'll fall into a client category. Oh, God, no. Yeah, if we are looking for Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's help, this is hardly the place we would come to. Ah, <laughs> oh, but you see, I wasn't referring to clients in the business sense. Everyone who enters this mortal realm will be a client of mine. <laughs> Sooner or later. Say what? Well, that's dark. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor welcomes advanced reservations. When you choose us, you'll never have to worry about what might be around the corner. But be sure to book the right date. Pro tip, it is a living nightmare trying to get flowers at short notice. <sighs> Maybe I retract what I just said. No. Speaking of dates, if you're struggling to decide, please do come and talk it over. I'd hate to see you still alive and kicking when your big day comes. <laughs> what? Oh, this is this is awful. That's uh, you. There's a lot to unpack here. Sounded very bizarre. Is everyone at Wangsheng Family probably a weirdo? Oh, dang. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be rude here. <laughs> You'll have to excuse her. The director is a rather unique individual. Allow me to explain. Thanks. We'd heard that there have been some supernatural activity at Wuwang Hill. To restore calm here, we performed a funeral ceremony. Somebody called Chong Yun. It went very smoothly. According to the director, we shouldn't be expecting any more issues in the near future. Wangsheng hmm. Funeral Parlor, Wuwang Hill, Funeral. What more is there to say? These three belong in the same sentence. What's with their eyes? You two, on the other hand, have no business coming to Wuwang Hill. You being here is not normal. You're not normal. Of normal isn't quite normal. I'm here on an adventure. Now we're actually here farming uh crimson wit sets. That must have been delighted after the senior incident. Oh no. Oh no. Adventure? You must hail from the adventurers guild. Nope. Then you are one of our distinguished clients. What to be precise? Jesus Christ, like, she's, I guess, really enthusiastic about her job. Wood? What do you mean? Oh, Pama didn't get it. That's just how we gauge our client's importance. We have four levels, wicker, bamboo, wood, and marble. The higher the grade, the better we'd like to get to know you. Jesus, talking about, like, the material of which you'll be closed up in. But I've just only heard of this. Well, that's because I only just thought of it. Oh, don't look so shocked. Oh, take a look. Our adventurers spend the whole day scaling mountains, clearing domains, and smiting enemies. Danger and peril are their bread and butter. True. Clients like these deserve better treatment. Taking an interest in their daily lives will ultimately benefit not only them, but also me. Hmm. Charming, how subtle of you. Oh, touched a nerve, did I? I'd have thought any adventurers who dare come here would be used to conversations like this. I mean, she wasn't that wrong. Anyway, I have a favor to ask. 
Recently, Wangsheng Funeral Parlor has been trying to strike a business deal with the Adventurers Guild. With you acting as an intermediary, it would be so much easier. I don't want to take part in your business. <laughs> What's in it for me? Uh, what's in it for me? Hmm. Let me think what I could offer you as a reward. <gasps> or perhaps there's a favor I could do in return? I can think of something. Ah, we're looking for someone. We've asked a lot of people, but nobody seems to have a clue where they are. Oh my god, is Hutai going to be the one that brings us to our brother? This seems like something right up my alley. I can even inquire with the ones who no longer speak for you. Whoa. You see? Helping me will be worth your while. Come on then, my able assistants. Let's get down to Liyue Harbor and do some business. Uh, when did we become your assistants? <laughs> Long Shun Funeral Parlor. The ones who no longer speak. Oh, did she mean talking to the dead? No. She's a weird one. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. I love her uh, uh, voice actor, though. I mean, I, I'm familiar with the voice actor already, but she did a pretty good job for this, um, or a good performance for this type of voice. She nailed the, uh, like, scary type of vibe. I wish she could actually enter in the Wangshan funeral parlor, like Angel Share. You again. Look, I told you, we're not interested in the kind of cooperation you describe. Probably nobody likes Sutao. Come on, there's no reason to get upset. Look, one of your members is an avid supporter of my proposition. I have to agree. Just hear her out. Oh, since our last negotiation, I've come up with a new proposal, which I think you'll find has far more benefits for you. First things first, Wangsheng Funeral Parlor will prioritize the Adventurers Guild requests above all others. You'll also receive 100 of our signature wooden coffins for free, together with your first <laughs> order. Oh, well, at least all about her job. But that's not all. We also provide an on-site cadaver collection service covering almost all regions in Liyue. No, we do charge a slight premium for a very small number of especially dangerous areas, but but don't you worry about that. I promise you, it's still very affordable. <laughs> the biggest salesman. I don't think you're hearing me. Okay, all right. I get it. You want to bargain a little more, but our offer as it stands is already quite a good deal, don't you think? Just think about it. An adventurer's life is full of unexpected threats. It's only natural to take precautions. Mend the roof before it rains, as they say. Yeah, no, I'm not so sure that saying applies in this context. Well, she wants to strike a deal with the Adventurers Guild because as adventurers, you do dangerous things. So hopefully she's, she's hoping somebody dies in the process. She said really meet Bennett. Speaking of precautions, I'd rather focus on keeping my adventurers safe in the first place. She would love Bennett. It's time for you to go. I have to attend to other matters. Wait, hold on. What would you say to a group discount? 30% off for parties of 10? Director, please, you did your best. We don't need another clash with the Millilith. Another clash with the Millilith? What happened the first time? Uh, if Paimon understood all that correctly, it seems like she's trying to sell them the funeral parlor services. I saw rely on this issue. Just look at us nowhere. Yeah. yeah, her character is so far is very just like very uh, unique, if you will. Uh, yeah, nothing left to do here. Let's go back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Like it though. Rejecting a once in a lifetime opportunity. It's their loss. Some things are inevitable. It's only a matter of time. Dang. Like, I guess they picked the best possible director for a funeral, because she's, she's all about it. I have a reputation for being a weirdo amongst the ranks of the Adventurers Guild. But it's only because they haven't had an opportunity to talk to Hu Tao. <laughs> Surprised she actually had a voice line there. Ad Astra Abyssosk. 
Oh, what's she saying in the beginning? I have a reputation for being a weirdo amongst the oh, ranks of the Adventurers Guild. Yeah. Why? But it's only because they haven't had an opportunity to talk to Hu Tao. Why, why are you the weirdest one? I feel like Bennett would be the weirdest one if he's actually part of the Adventurers Guild, which she is. No, a bit like Fischl, if anything. I believe Fischl's part of it too. Oh, we're actually going to the probably now. Yeah, Fischl definitely. Yeah. I just thought about it. I was like, yeah, Fischl definitely. The weirdest among equal. Just look for the director. I think. Oh, I think she is standing here all the time. Yeah. <sighs> Seems like the old ways are the most reliable after all. Mung, are you done preparing our promotional materials? Nah, my apologies. Oh. I'm only about halfway through. Do you really think they will be effective? Trust me, they're going to work wonders. This marketing strategy has been used by Wangsheng Funeral Parlor for generations. Generation. Type it's SpongeBob. Okay, get in. I'll Google Maps. That's the hotel. Oh. <laughs> so that is. I could not be any more accurate. <laughs> Like the smiling and all enthusiastic about it. Literally. Clients in need come to our door and write down their commissions on blank wooden tiles. Then they squeeze those inside the parlor through the crack under the door. I fulfill the request written on each tile to make sure our clients are satisfied with the service, no matter if it's an obituary, cremation, or funeral that they seek. Although, it is a bit of a hassle with the constant back and forth. Fourth. If only we could burn them by the batch. No, Director, I'm not asking about the wooden tiles themselves, but about the special offer they advertise. Special offer? Then you say the wooden tiles should be blank? <laughs> Long Shun Funeral Parlor should keep up with the times. Just think about it. If we don't attract new clients, we'll be left with nothing, won't we? True. Business development is a crucial element of every prosperous enterprise. I've been trying various marketing strategies ever since I became the director. Wonder who will be the next one. I put up posters just like all the other shops, but the Millilith promptly removed them. Oh no, <laughs> why? Then I organized the Wangsheng Visitor's Day, but no one showed up. Well, that doesn't come as a huge surprise. True. And finally, I discovered that the traditional ways are the most reliable after all. I took inspiration from the wisdom of previous directors. So now, I go from door to door looking for people and organizations willing to cooperate. Just like during our visit to the Adventurers Guild. That's what I mean by business development. The other method I'm trying is using the wooden tiles as coupons. Just by writing things like... Buy one, get one free for the holder of this tile on them. Oh, Lord. Uh, what do they buy and what do they get? A solid and durable second home, of course. Well, they may not need it right away, but they can be sure that when they do, it will still be as good as new. <clears throat> it won't start deteriorating before you finish doing so yourself. That's the one oh my God. parlor quality guarantee. I mean, you know, it, it makes sense considering what she does as a job, you know, but I guess it's just kind of hard to sell. I, I don't know. Coffins or like her deals with people dying. Uh, yeah. You don't think about it when you're alive, of course, but. She should talk to all the like older people in, <laughs> in Genshin or into that. No one, no one are you on the mail list radar? Mm. All right, Mung. Keep adding those special offers to the wooden tiles. The future of our business depends on it. <sighs> I'm still not sure this will work. Oh, I get it. You think that our special offer is not comprehensive enough, right? No, that's not it. It is true. I was offering all kinds of great benefits to the Adventurers Guild because they are a new client. But in doing so, I neglected my old clients. 
<sighs> You're right. It's unfair. Hmm. Let me do some market research. Wait here, my faithful assistants. I'll be back with you in a moment. It shouldn't take too long. Faithful assistants. Guess we got dragged into somebody else's business again. Let's look around while she's away. I notice she has like all these little innuendos or she'll say something that alludes to <laughs> death eventually. Oh, Lisa climbing. We gotta have that one. She'll say like, I think right there, she said it's only a matter of time and stuff like that. Forever like in this world I roam. Very just like little tiny innuendos. Hmm. The way we're wording this lacks a warmth and sincerity. If we're content to settle for just seeing people off, how can we give them a sense of really having gained something? But that's a tough feeling to convey in this industry. Precisely the problem. If we can't get that feeling across, then how will we get return clients? Well, you won't. Return clients? What does that mean? <laughs> That's actually a funny picture. But it looks like he's just... He's, he's like everybody else in, uh, in comparison to Hu Tao, where they, they just don't like her. He's just like... <sighs> Board used for hanging the Wong Shen funeral parlor's wooden tiles. According to Hu Tao, all the tiles should be blank. In which case, the characters in the back of the tiles must be this special offer. Be the director's new hires. Not us. We're just very curious about Wangsheng Funeral Parlor and Hu Tao. Well, I wouldn't get Ooh. too curious if I were you. Too much knowledge isn't good for ordinary folk. What does that mean? The director is tactful when it comes to what should and shouldn't be known. Huh? Tactful? They get they, they give her they give her a crap, but honestly, she seems like she's got her stuff in order. I'll be honest. Let me inside. Let me go. Looks far more, looks far more ordinary than a daughter made it out to be. We should get going. Let's go find Hu I wish she'd go inside. That's settled then. Write it like this. Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor Bumper Sale. Buy one, get one free. Buy two, get three free. More for your Mora. <laughs> I love it. Better than all that lifeless brochure stuff. We want people to feel warm and fuzzy. I love uh, what at this performance. Uh, but director, isn't lifeless the name of the game in this industry? Ooh. That's old hat. We're opening up new ground. Uh, uh, why does Wangsheng Funeral Parlor need to open up? Uh, uh, <sighs> yes, director. Poor guy's giving up. <laughs> right, we should get going. I am not letting new business escape us. Just has like 15,000 rings in our hands. We? As in us. And black fingernails. <laughs> Who else? Do you see anyone else around here? Oh, well, you probably wouldn't see them if there was. like that it creeps people out <laughs> <laughs> just a joke sorry everything you see is everything that's present for the moment at least every time it just never you just say a sentence without alluding to something else uh, lighten up the way i see it people make death scarier than it really is what people truly fear about departing this world is suffering and regret to deal with the trauma, they let their imaginations run wild with notions of ghosts and evil spirits. Hmm. <sighs> oh, baseless fantasies. What we've ended up with is a topic that people are morbidly afraid of talking about. If I don't broach the subject, then Wangsheng Funeral Parlor won't be long for this world. People, she mentions that people are more afraid of death than they should be. I've seen a ghost. Oh, more approachable and appeasable than you'd imagined? Uh, I wouldn't say that. Let's just say at least it didn't hurt us. 
You must oh, have come across yeah. a particularly ferocious entity. How should I put this? Most spirits are incapable of harming ordinary folks. The job of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is to guard the border between life and death. One component of this is correcting notions of death and the afterlife that people may hold. Simply put, for those unable to see the border, they're best kept as far away from it as possible. They what? To guard the border between life and death? One point of course, holding notions of death and the afterlife. Way too dank. So for ordinary folks, the best case scenario is ignorance of all matters concerning spirits in the afterlife, or even better, a belief that none of it exists. Oh, I get it. Okay. Then you really don't have any excuse for spooking the heck out of people. <laughs> you make it sound so abominable. I'm just trying to get them to see the humor in it all. She's not afraid of death. Some people think that's people think you're weird. I've seen it. I've yet to see the funny side. Uh, yeah. I never thought you'd be such a bore. Never mind. If you stick by me, everything will become clear. If you stick by me, everything will become clear. All right, let's get going. Follow me. Where are we going? Director, wait. What about Big G? Don't forget. Big G? <laughs> Who's Big G? Big G? Who's that? We've been in Lele for ages and never heard that name. Oh, nothing. Just something Mung's been pleading with me to take care of. Should be a piece of cake. The heck is Big G? Where are we going? To visit an important potential client. I'll lead the way. Big G. Stick close to the director. She knows what she's doing. Big G. What's G stand for? I have, I have no idea. Big G. Visit a potential client with Hutel. Little Woo. Uh, I'm you? Sorry, who are you? Hello, I'm Hutel, director who? of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Okay, so why would someone from Wangsheng Funeral Parlor be looking for me? I feel like the voice does not match this NPC. Mm, nothing major. How are you feeling these days? Any aches or pains? Oh my god. This line of business is... Like, you, you gotta be just a weird individual to do this. Like, I wonder how the other 76 directors were. I also had to be crazy. Well, I guess not crazy, but just a different outlook on life and death. You shouldn't ignore them, by the way. Very often, they're an omen of something terminal. When we're healthy, it's easy to forget the crushing fragility of life. So, aches and pains, best to keep an eye on them. You're scaring me. Hi, are you dying? Yeah, basically. What are you getting at? I'm in great health and enjoying life very much, thank you. And for now. Go and find some other poor soul. Goodbye. Damn. Why did they get angry? What's wrong with a few earnest health tips? Hyman thinks it's because they're coming from the director of a funeral parlor. She's curious. Yeah, probably shouldn't mention that. Don't bother me again. I'm doing just fine. Just turning around on a wall. Moo moo. Yep, moo moo. Uh, and you are. Be quick. I'm busy. Hello there. Would you be interested in understanding a bit about our services at the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? Uh, I'm not in need of your services. I mean, you know, if you keep on asking, eventually somebody will be. So you're out here looking for new customers? Don't you think this might be a bit of a crass way of going about it? <laughs> Hardly. Isn't this the fashion these days? Bring the service to the customer and all that. I'm not sure it's every service that falls into that. Uh, anyway, please bother someone else if you don't mind. Rip. Uh, another failure. 
Still, not the end of the world. Paimon's curious. Does this approach ever work out for you? Oh, it's an answer. Uh, please, bother someone else if you don't mind. Surely somebody will have a reason. Surely. An Ansi? I know your face. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Director, right? I'm sorry, I'm really in no need of it. Don't apologize, get to know us. We've got a new sale going on. Ever hear the saying, out with the old, in with the new? Well, going out with a bang is the best way to start off in style on the other side. <laughs> if you keep talking like this, I'll have to call the Millilith. Oh, no, not again. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, relax. We're leaving. But Wangsheng Funeral Parlor awaits your distinguished patronage. Oh, it just, just bounces back immediately. You really don't give up, do you? Tough crowd. There's no persuading them. Hmm? Are you trying to make me feel better? Well, thank you. Seems you understand me far better than most people. Yeah, I mean, you know, honestly, from... I assume like a quarter of this quest or halfway, I can actually totally understand where you're coming from. Not really. This is just getting really uncomfortable. <laughs> Enough business development. Please help me find someone. Wait. Lamella mean saying that? Business development? Is that what you see this as? Surely you don't think all that was business development? Surely. And what was it exactly? Traumatization for its own sake? <laughs> no, no, no. The business development ended after the discussion with the Adventurers Guild. <laughs> no, yeah. Wait, what? I was helping to find somebody for Mung. You remember Big G? Oh, we yeah, so I don't know who Big G is, though. As it turns out, the Big G that Mung is looking for is a ghost adrift in the mortal realm. What? The three we saw just now were all people I suspected of being followed by Big G. But having seen them, I didn't sense the presence of anything otherworldly. Oh, gosh. So those three people had a probability of being followed by a ghost? So we just had a quick chat, and I left it at that. If that was stopping for a quick chat, <laughs> I wonder what business development looks like. Why didn't you say so? Hyman thought you had some kind of sixth sense for, uh, people in declining health. I thought so too for a second. Huh? What would I need that kind of ability for? I'm no doctor. Thank goodness. <laughs> Were you seriously hoping that the director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was going to start healing people? Or... <laughs> yeah. Imagine if Hu Tai was a healer. <laughs> oh, with the same context? Oh, gosh. Paimon was trying to subtly imply that... Uh, never mind. Paimon wouldn't know how to explain subtlety in a way you'd understand. That wouldn't make any sense. Uh, well, let's leave that for now and head back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. This Big G matter is very closely linked to Meng. Big G? Big ghost. Yeah, I get where she's coming from now. I would really like to see like the other 76 uh, directors though. And like how long ago they were in charge because they all had to be somewhat like this. She's probably the best at this job. Meng. Meng, I'm back. Meng. I'm afraid we're still no closer to finding Big G. Big G? I see. Well, I'm just sorry for the trouble. I've already searched in all the likely places. Who is this Big G anyway? Yeah, who is he? I guess I should start at the beginning. My home was in the vicinity of Wuong Hill. In my youth, I had a good many friends there. You lived in Wuong Hill? My God. Big G was one of them. We were the best of friends. Inseparable, really. But one day, there was an accident. And that was the end of him. Oh, no. 
Mong. I've never forgotten. Too many memories, I suppose. I often return to Wuong Hill. Damn. But recently, after one such visit, I started to feel strange. Now, every night, Big G appears in my dreams. That's awful sad. I can't help but wonder, did I disturb him somehow? It's like a tall story. What kind of thing? Uh, that kind of thing doesn't happen. Oh, uh, well, it happens. It happens with these guys. Yeah, the cat was like, that's definitely stepped at the wrong time. Perhaps. I don't have proof, but I can't stop worrying. I get more anxious every day. Hmm. How would I ever come to terms with my childhood friend becoming an evil spirit? Oh, is that what he's saying? I thought maybe he just meant that his friend, you know, passed away. Maybe he was like a ghost, but not an evil spirit. <sighs> That's why he joined Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. In place of a salary, I'm helping him deal with this matter. Oh. And in wow. fact, what Meng has said is entirely plausible. Spirits on occasion do find a way into our world. But as for evil spirits, I think you're scaring yourself. Even I have only encountered malevolent forces a handful of times. Only a handful of times. Yeah, I feel like you wouldn't be an evil spirit. I think you would just be a spirit. If that's even a thing. That's what Hotel would say if she found out Tepe was using a delusion. Oh, gosh. And that's why Hutao is not really in much of the other story quests. <laughs> or the, uh, like all the other stuff. But are you sure there's no danger? I couldn't bear for him to go around harming people. Hmm. That's deep, man. I wonder what actually happened to his friend. You see what I mean? Look at the state Big of G. him. If we can't find Big G, it'll eat away at Monk forever. Those people we found today were also Mung's childhood friends. I thought there was a good chance Big G might have hidden among them. But here we are, empty-handed. I'll use my elemental sight. I'll find them. Wong Hill, childhood friends? <sighs> Seems like we're out of leads. Uh, it, sorry, excuse me. Is this Wong Shun Funeral Parlor? Who's this? My name's Luo Chung. I've had this Chung. awful feeling recently, like something's staring at me. Some of my friends and I went to Wuwang Hill the other day on a dare. After I returned home, I fell ill. I've been having recurring nightmares, but the doctors can't find anything wrong with me. Don't go to Wuwang Hill. I think for the love of God. It's a curse, right? I've been cursed by a demon. Oh, go go talk to Zhang Yun. Say no more. There's no doubt it's a demonic curse, all right, and a serious one at that. You believe so, too? What? It's just like they say in the tales of old. The vengeful spirits of the gods who fell in the Archon War return to cast their evil curses upon mortals. And if the curse isn't lifted, it will burn through the body, laying waste to flesh and bone. Oh, what a wretched end! What? The symptoms I'm having are just like those described in the tales. Wu Wong Hill? Hmm. No, I don't think it was a curse. It was probably just Big G. Hold your horses, both of you. There's no need to creep each other out. I can't with this Big G, man. Isn't that exactly what you like to do, though? Wang Cheng Funeral Parlor specializes in demonic stuff like this, right? Help me! I beg you! I'm too young to die! I don't think the parlor specializes in, like, demonic stuff. They just take care of the people who died. I mean, not take care of them, but, you know, you know, parlor. All right, all right. Don't panic. Leave it to me. You've come to the right person. However, in order to lift the curse, we need a suitable location, and we need to make some preparations. Come with me, my trusty assistants. I'm going to need your help. Uh, I guess I'll come too. Help him make the preparations first. The incense exorcism, the one I taught you. I mean when we put the 
incense thing and the thing for Zhao's Avasius. When you're ready, come and find Friend. me. Once we've finished with this, we'll get back to the big G matter. Big G? Okay, I guess. Right. Let's go. Hmm. I thought this is all a ruse. Like we don't she doesn't actually know what's happening here. Uh oh, this is an interesting spot. It's pretty good so far though. I can actually really understand where she's coming from. I know she may be a bit, you know, interesting with the way she goes about it, but it's really as simple with what she's trying to do. Not really like too Time to go. crazy. I mean, I know talking to a stranger about, you know, you dying might be a bit bizarre, but once you understand it from her perspective, it's, you know, kind of understandable. So, what mysterious rituals are you going to perform here? No ritual at all. We just need to kill some time. I knew it. Eh? Wait, you didn't take all that vengeful God's curse stuff seriously, did you? <laughs> they were eradicated ages ago. Wait, so they... They were there? So why are we here? You saw those two. One thinks he's been cursed, and the other one believes his friends turn into an evil spirit. It's hard to reason with them. <sighs> now you see why says I you. That ordinary folks should be kept in the dark. Oh, never going back to what she was saying before, yeah. Oh god, it's storming. I've seen too many people lose their senses on account of things like this. If you want to calm them down, you need to convince them with something tangible. True. You plunged, yeah. It's gonna die right there. Love Hotel. Yeah, I'm not really liking the character so far. This is like my first real interaction in terms of the uh the, the way the character is written. And the best way to do that is to make a great show of destroying the boogeyman they believe in before their very eyes. The boogeyman. Uh, sounds like that might work. If you were trying to cheer up a three year old. <laughs> I always wonder if the weather is like just random or if it's a quest specific. How old are you, how old are you Paimon? Yeah, how old are you? Why would you ask that? Answer. Paimon just wants to know why we can't tell everyone the truth. Because you can't guarantee that telling an ignorant person the truth will improve the situation instead of exacerbating it. Exacerbating? No, she's right about this too. It's like, you know, if you don't know about it, you would never be concerned about it. But if you do know about it, you'll be paranoid like those other, like Mong and uh, Lu Shang, what his name was. Yeah. What I can do is pretend to pull back anyone who believes their time is nigh. But since the curse is imaginary, our fix will also be make believe. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. It's a curse. Do you know the history of the Yaksha? Yes, I do. I do. I probably wouldn't have known back then when this came out, but <laughs> I know now. Haven't heard, of, uh, haven't heard about it. I know just some bits and pieces. No, I know all about it. They once fought against the ancient gods. They fought brilliantly in a battle that engulfed the whole world in darkness. Although the gods were defeated in the end, their resentment persevered. Fought ancient gods and golf the whole world in darkness. That resentment turned into a pestilence spreading amongst the ordinary folk. Hysteric people mistook it for the curse of the gods. I mean, there's definitely some weird things that happen into that, but at the same time, it seems like things have kind of settled down now. The plague took the lives of many, which only furthered its spread, as the dead were a breeding ground for the disease. Then someone discovered how to prevent it from spreading, purify the air, and burn the bodies of the deceased. The pioneers of these practices were, you guessed it, the founders of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Oh, shoot. So they were the ones to stop the plague? I guess the first one, or like, just the earlier ones? Paimon didn't see that coming. Really? Yes. Anyway, it took many years. But eventually, the plague was completely eradicated. Like many years? Oh, Lord. Well, at least I actually did it. <sighs> We've dealt with similar phenomena multiple times throughout the ages. 
Each time we successfully restored the balance between life and death. Who's we? To sum it up, we are gatekeepers, guarding the border for the sake of both the living and the dead. <laughs> what she meant by guarding the border? Yeah. Never knew Wang Shan had such a long history. Well, I mean, she is the 77th one. So when I say this curse is just a figment of the imagination, I say it with more certainty than most. But I also can't really go telling people that the ancient plagues were real or it would incite panic. Oh, so now we're kind of lying, though. Because that, that actually did happen. And we're saying that it didn't. Well, she is, show. not me. This ley line monolith will make for a really great prop. A while later. Oh, you're finally here. We just finished our preparations. Now, look here. This device is used to drive away evil spirits. It'll absorb the curse inside you and cause it to take a physical form. <laughs> oh my god. But don't worry. The traveler here is a seasoned warrior and will assure our safety. You failed to mention that we need to fight. Doing dirty work again. Uh oh, yeah. Oh right. I forgot to tell you. <laughs> It'll be fine. Will that really solve my problem? No. Nope. Trust the director. She might look like a weirdo, but she's serious Whoa. about everything she does. That's that's your boss, Mong. <sighs> you call me a weirdo i mean wouldn't you say it's more charmingly naive or disarmingly different he's really not really <laughs> all right let's get down to business my glamorous assistant please activate the device oh shoot here we go protect the ley line monolith and fend off the enemies maybe it, maybe it does storm here Oh, they're at the Playhouse Hotel. Rip. Oh, I lost like the enemies were. I'm counting on you. you guys are far. leave your body yep uh, yes i feel more invigorated than ever before i'm cured how really i thought yeah she was absolutely right with what she said it's all in their head uh, i can't express how grateful i am for your and the traveler's help if it hadn't been for you the curse would have taken my life the curse that's a good point. I mean, she knows what she's doing. Like, she she has everything down for the most part. She just... To people who don't really know her, she may seem like she's bizarre when she walks up to a stranger talking about death and whatnot. But honestly, she's pretty, like, intact. Ah, oh, great. In which case, I guess now I can tell you. Da, 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 da. You've been pranked. Fanfare? You've been punked. Uh... What? This exorcism device? People like you wouldn't recognize it, but it's just an old ley line monolith deceptively effective at attracting monsters. And those were real monsters, not a manifestation of your curse. You're real. So riddle me this. If I didn't do anything to lift the curse, then what's the cause of your sudden recovery? Yeah, what is it? The curse wasn't real? Been watching too many movies there, Lu Shang. Then why was I sick? Well, you caught a cold, ate something bad, or just scared yourself sick. It's anyone's guess, but I'm leaning towards the last option. Wouldn't be the first time in my career. How unexpected. I also didn't expect that, but uh, still, I'd like to thank you. Let's just kind of let this, like, she's downplaying all the weird spirits and whatnot it's like oh yeah it's not real dude just your imagination uh, don't mention it i found a way to deal with your fears this time but i can't do it over and over again so i'd appreciate it if you try not to give in to superstitions in the future 
Basically, I'm not helping you anymore. Stop. Even like the shorts. Enjoy it while it lasts. Wow. I... Uh, what a weird thing to say. Uh, I... I shall head back. I'm sorry for troubling you. I feel relieved to see that it wasn't Big G's doing. However, unless he crosses the oh. border, there will be no end to his antics. Well, we took care of his problem, but we didn't take care of Mong's problem still. Since we are done with the matter at hand, can we resume our search for Big G? Although, his friend really did die, though. I believe that won't be needed. He found us first. Big G? Oh, shoot. Hold on. Uh, um, <gasps> I didn't mean to bother you. Any of you. It's Rue. This is Big G? He's just a child? Oh, he was. Oh, well, he is a spirit. It's quite normal that he looks just like he did when he left this world. Damn. Um, that's not what Paimon imagined when Paimon first heard the name Big G. <laughs> well, let's bring him back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. We have much to do. Big G. There he is. Big G NPC number five. And the Wong Sun Pino Apollo again. After all that's happened, I was not even sure what's going on anymore. I didn't expect any or I didn't expect to stumble upon Big G just like that either. So Big G is not an evil spirit? No, I don't think so. Actually, I'm not surprised in the slightest. Remember what I said? There's only so many evil spirits in this world. It was a twist of fate that made him leave Wuwang Hill in the first place. Now, for some reason, he can't go back. Dang, that still kind of sucks with what happened to him, though. Like, how'd he die? This explanation sounds a bit far-fetched to Paimon. Actually, she pretty much summed it up. Huh? <laughs> Don't ever question my professional instincts. Damn, got it right. I just wanted to check up on my friends. That's why I came to Liyue Harbor. I promise I wasn't up to any mischief. I never wanted to scare anyone. Well, a few days ago, some people came to Wuwang Hill on a dare. I heard them saying they come from Liyue Harbor, so I followed one of them back and ended up here. Oh, that was Lu Shang. Oh, it must have been poor Lo Chung that you followed. Or Lo Chung. Maybe he didn't notice you, but he could still feel your presence. Now we know what caused his nightmares. Uh, I was discovered? Well, I assume so. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been scared half to death. <laughs> Why didn't he come looking for Meng sooner? Yeah. Hu Tao and Meng were searching for you all over the place. Meng, I keep saying all the names wrong. Oh, well, that's because I couldn't find them. It's my first time in Liyue Harbor, and I got lost in the city. Now that you mention it, Big G always had a poor sense of direction. When we were kids, he'd never go down the hill by himself. We always had to lead him. Hmm. Maybe that's what led to his death. So, all of this was just because you got lost? Why didn't you just fly? Like any other gooster spirit. Jeez, Don't you think it's on? much easier to find your way from up above? How much just the most blatant? I can't. It's too high for me. I get scared. That's right, yes. He used to be so afraid of heights that he wouldn't even so much as look down the hill. Dang. The serious case of heights. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. But then they didn't call you Tall G? Oh my gosh. What is this joke? Well, we gotta say it to see what happens. I knew I wasn't supposed to show myself to the living. And with so many people walking around Liyue Harbor, my only choice was to hide. I wouldn't have found you if it weren't for the Leyline Modelist's call. Oh, let's get into the Leyline. Why did ghosts be invisible? I'm confused. I guess not in Tibet. I'm so relieved that you haven't become an evil spirit. Like I said, don't ever doubt my professional instincts. <laughs> now, all we have to do is escort this lost child back to Wuang Hill, and we should be done and dust to dusted. 
But you can't go back. But he just said he wanted to visit his friends. Apart from me, there's also little Wu, Mumu, Mu, and Songza. Well, if that's the case, we can't let him down. We'll ask them all to help us prepare a farewell ceremony for Big G. Mung hmm. and I will escort Big G back to Wulong Hill. You meet with those three and ask them for keepsakes to symbolize each one of them during the ritual, then come and find us. They're all friends. Can't hmm. we just go there all together? Or maybe we can take Big G to them. True. Um, that's not a good idea. I don't want to scare them. Hmm. I wouldn't want ordinary folks to become superstitious. The less they know, the better. True. So be careful what you say when you collect the keepsakes. Say. Are we really going with Hu Tao's plan? At least by keeping things low key, we won't be giving anyone nightmares. She's not wrong about that at all. Don't tell them so that they don't know. Uh, hi! <laughs> Do you remember us? Oh, you. Sorry, I won't be needing the funeral parlor services anytime soon. Mom told us a story. Most of that, he's one of uh, your old friends. <sighs> yes, we grew up together. But we still keep in touch even now. I don't know why he started working for Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. To be honest, I find their director to be quite peculiar. <laughs> but he must have had his reasons. He's on his own now, after all. And he still can't get over what happened to Big G. Did he tell you about it? Yep. Yeah, he did. Um, if you could pick one thing to give to Big G as a keepsake, what would you choose? Just, you know... Theoretically speaking, we're just being hypothetical here. <laughs> Definitely not gonna actually go commemorate him or anything. <laughs> Typical Paimon. I... I'd cook something for him. Oh, he could eat spicy food like no other. His favorite meal was extra spicy Jue Yun chili chicken. Mmm, sounds good. I can make Everybody. it for you if you bring me some Jue Yun chilies. I'm sure gotcha. you appreciate the flavor of his childhood years. I still use that old recipe. Deal! Just give us a minute. If one second. Julian Chili's. Wait, what is that? Oh, dang. Julian Chili's are a common sight in Liu. I can rustle that dish up in no time if you help me find some. Got you, homie. Great, this should be enough. I'll get started on the Julia and Chili Chicken. I guess you've got other folks to track down? When everyone's ready, I'll get the dish over to you. Great, see you later. Uh, how did he know about the others? It's true. Oh man, it's gonna be an interesting ending here. Maybe it's all coming back to him. Not you again. I told you, I'm not interested in the inner workings of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Mun told us about you. You're good friends, right? I would just ignore that first part. Uh, that's true, yes. I come to think of it, I remember he did join Wangsheng Funeral Parlor recently. It didn't take long for his good friends to figure out why. Uh, the Big G incident. But I know there's nothing we can say to help him get over it. Letting go of the past is a painful process. I would know. Yikes. So, is Big G the reason you're here to see me? Yes, sir. How did you know? We didn't even say anything. <laughs> I'm a businessman. I've got a sixth sense for this kind of thing. No. I don't know about that one, I think. I think something extra is going on. Everyone hears the name Moo Moo and thinks I must be dim-witted. I never heard the end of it when I set up shop, but I'd say I proved a few people wrong. Here, take this. It's a top-of-the-line toy box we all dreamed of owning as kids. Back then, none of us could afford it. We were penniless. Oh. Today, business is booming. I ended up buying loads of these. It was a dream come true. 
Wow, you must be like super rich. <laughs> uh, for me, it's a memento of a childhood long gone. Without it, we wouldn't be where we are today. So, having found me, I guess you'll be looking for little Wu and Tsongza next. How do you know? Mm-hmm. We already saw little Wu. Now we gotta find Tsongza. Tsongza. I see. If it's Tsongza you're after, let's meet at the overpass at Feiyun Slope. It's just above the staircase leading down to the dock. I've got an errand to run. I'll come find you as soon as I'm done. The Aaron as in standing right here. Oh, no, he's gone. Luxurious toy box. Luxurious toy box from Mumu. This was one something they all desired as childhood. May all wishes come true in the future. Oh, there it is. Oh, the whole crew. Huh? You're all here. The whole crew. Reminiscing about old times. Thinking back to past events. We've been at it for years. Our hometown was completely destroyed in a disaster. So Dang. we got nowhere to go back to. Now, home is wherever friends are. They've just been telling me you're looking for keepsakes. I make artisan sail lanterns down by Liyue Harbor. I guess they represent me better than anything. Artisan Zhao lanterns. A few days ago, I bought some quality plostrite shards. They're currently all in the warehouse at the dock. I've already spoken to the manager. Could I ask you to retrieve them for me? Seems like you already know what's going on. Be back in a jiffy. Talk to the warehouse manager. Oh, we gotta get a picture of, of the crew. You know, I just realized mine's the only item that's been outright purchased. Yours are both handmade. But yours is worth a lot more. Mm, no, nah, I'd say if you make it with, you know, I said the handmade one is actually worth more. Worth and more is not what's important here. These things all played a big part in our childhood. Yeah, exactly. They show that we will never forget our promise. You made it yourself. That's way more valuable than. It's actually less value valuable if you bought it. Oh, we got to talk to manager Joe. Time to go. Manager Zhao. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> That's not. Hi, Rip. we're here to pick up the plastrite shards for Sansa. I think Sansa. she mentioned it. Yes, here you are in the register. No problem. The plastrite shards are over in that crate there. Please help yourselves. No manager Zhao. Rip. Time to go. Here. Now, like lantern made from such materials as such sure to carry happy hopes high into the sky. My thanks to both of you. This looks like great stuff. Please, wait a moment. This is the final step. Okay, there we go. I wrote all five of our names inside the lantern. You know, during the annual lantern rite, we all release a lantern like this. Oh. No matter what the days may bring, whichever roads we choose to take, while this rite remains observed, each of us remains the same. As for the matter of Big G, the three of us have discussed amongst ourselves and agreed we won't press you on it. Hmm. But if you get the chance, please let them know we're doing well. I wish they would have gone to see him. I mean, I know he doesn't want to scare them, but it'd be better if they all three went to actually see him. And that the things we once spoke of, they've all come to pass. You can count on us and I won't press you on the things you once spoke of. Yeah. Thank you. We'll pass it on. Big G is lucky to have friends like you. You should see him. Let's go to Wulong Hill and find Fu Tao and the others. Nostalgic Jin Chili Chicken. Jin Chili Chicken was made personally by Lil Wu. 
According to him, the capture the taste of his uh, youth perfectly through Big G will not be able to enjoy it. Uh, he may remember some of the happiness of these. Dang, man, that's sad. I mean, you know, it's sad, but it's also. Oh, you're back already? Sooner than I expected. You didn't go spilling the beans, did you, Paimon? Is Paimon, like <laughs> Paimon. To you? Not Traveler, Paimon. <laughs> Anyway, looks like they were willing to hand over some keepsakes, so I guess they knew the deal. Nevertheless, when it comes to things like ghosts and ghouls, spirits and souls, the one thing everyone knows is you never know what to expect. Which explains why they were reluctant to pry and find out the full story. Which is just as well, because if they had attempted to, it would have been too much for me to deal with. Yeah, that's for sure. Sounds terrifying, I can't tell you serious anymore. No, please. The tail kind of looks like, uh, aside from the actual human body, the eyes look like she'd be a ghost too. Guard the border between life and death. This is Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's most important responsibility, and I'm stricter than most. So what about us? Really? Does it matter if we cross the border? Cross the border. <laughs> Not. After all, you were caught up in all this already, just like Mung. It's not the end of the world if you catch a glimpse behind the curtain. Oh, a glimpse behind the curtain. And where we're going, don't be surprised at what you may see or what may occur. All of it exists within the border between the living and the dead. An ordinary place, really. The only special thing about <laughs> it is that nobody really knows about it. Except you. Whatever you do, don't get all worked up over nothing, okay? Or else by the time we're out, I'll have to erase your memories. <laughs> Hello? So listen to everything I say. Let's go. I, uh... Scared. Yes, ma'am. But like Huta says, we're already caught up in this. We better see it through to the end. True. Perfect send off. Go to the ordinary place mentioned by Hotel. Oh shoot, we got a domain. I was wondering if they were gonna let you play Hotel in this quest. We got a domain to do. Oh, that's gonna be cool. We're entering the border. Oh shoot. We're entering the border. Chivalry will never die. Hmm. This will be interesting. Oh, shoot. There she is. Yeah, I love everything about the, the look and the voice out there behind the character is just like freaking wow, amazing. What is this place? Somewhere close to death, but not like the Heller underworld from the tales of old. This is just a place where the ley lines tend to go a little bit haywire. So keep your cool. Follow me. The farewell ceremony site is just up ahead. A place between. Silly. A place between, uh, what, hell and even worse? What does that mean? This looks really cool, though. I really. Creepy looking. It looks like more of Wu Wong Hill, but like a Wu Wong Hill domain, I guess. Oh, I gave her the stat. Oh, of course I did. What did they got for? This is actually pretty good. 34,000 health. Almost 2,000 attack. Staff of Homa. <laughs> She's so happy. Um. Oh. Oh, no. Hi, Overs. Why? Well, do we have Crimson? Yeah, Crimson, right? Yeah, she's a really early character, so. Why? He won, though. Why'd they do it? No bless for the win. Eh. Yeah, this character has so much great talent behind her, though. Both the voice actors are freaking are just so good at what they do. And also the character looks good too. Oh, that's so cool though. 
Oh, I'm burning. That's that's, that's so cool. How long does it last for? Oh, it stops at six, I think. That pattern looks familiar. From the right angle, you can make out the whole thing. Oh, just like last time. Oh yeah, with a uh, dusky Ming. Oh, interesting. Oh, I forgot about that. Dude, why is this character so cool, man? Like, that is so sick. Why isn't, like, any... Well, I guess Ayaka has her sprint, too, but... That is so cool. You, like, go through the enemy? Oh, ow. Oh, you can kind of. Uh oh. Dude, this is just so it's just so sick, man. Hopefully everyone uh happens at some point. Oh god. I have no idea how to play her though. Let's pop that. 40k. So fast. Jesus. That's why it's named the border. You can't just cross whenever you please. You need to have a little. How do people normally put it? Pomp and ceremony? Paimon's pretty sure that's not <laughs> how people put it. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, I see. I see. That's the whole animation cancel aspect. Oh, God. Almost dead. As one with wind and Whoops. Oh, I just killed everybody. Just caused with everybody by an accident. Oh, go up now. By the way, I imagine adventurers guild members are good at making order of things. See if you can find a way to get the right things into the right places. Usually it requires a bit of destruction as well as elemental reactions. On your marks. <laughs> e you talking to us? You talking to us? No. Yeah. I, I love like Yoimiya's little like, you know, her E. But when Hu Tao does it, it just like the screen vibrates and it just looks so cool. And then look at the staff of Homa. Like glowing. <laughs> Bro, why'd they make this character so cool, man? Look at that. Look, it's like literally shining. Oh, that's not it. There it is. Another secret wall. The sprint animation. My chest. Maxwell Geo said it was on there too. Place is creepy. Ooh. Ray outlines your fate. Body and mind. Let's out. try the uh the burst. Oh my god. Jesus, what is that 123? Also, what'd she just do by the way? <laughs> She just like, look like she took the ghost out of her nose. Is what it looked like. Oh. Oh, shield gamers. 
deep is hard to press 5. 30. Whoops. Drop that shield. Oh, that shield. I swear that shield can, it can stop anything. Yeah, the gameplay just feels so smooth with her. So fast. Oh. So when you pop the E, you get like a kind of a different sort of charge attack. The same thing, but slightly different. I'm so glad they actually added a domain to this. That's I love when they said the domain. I'm always get excited for that. This looks the same, but there aren't a map. Oh shoot. Uh, so confusing. Let's have a look around. Or up ahead. Spider-Man. Domains are always cool. The Yamiko domain, this domain, the Ryan domain, Kazo domain. You just like fall to your death. Oh, let me set. Let's go, let's go. Gotta do a test. I'm just like I'm trying to thoroughly enjoy this quest <laughs> before it's over. <laughs> oh man. All right. Gotta find one more little blue spirit. Oh lord. What's that side story quest where like hangouts where you could go back? Yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be pretty cool. But it's just kind of like one and done forever, unfortunately. That's that's their scheme, right? It's like, yeah, you, you want to play it again, pull for the character. But then again, it's for the story quest, not really the, the gameplay. I guess maybe if they had the quest in there, it would have been too much space, maybe? Then again, is there anything, is there any, any such thing as too much space in this game? Because they add so much already, so. Wait, can I just... Oh. Yeah, just the voice lines. Just the voice lines. Unfortunate. At least, at least there's the hangouts. So I think some hangouts don't actually allow you to play as a character. Some do, some don't. Like Barbara doesn't allow you to play as her. Then again, she's free character, so. Oh no, did I miss up? Wait. Oh no, okay, we're good. Huh? Isn't this where we just were before? Oh. Wait, what? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is some kind of maze. Wait, what? Spider. Spider Man. Maybe I went the wrong way? What into that is going on? Hold on, we'll take for him to Have figure it out. Oh gosh, no help. It's almost as if we're constantly being sent back to the beginning. Everything resets. Oh well, I guess I'm not the only one. Gotta burn everything that's that's not. Hmm. Hmm. We're stuck. Right, back here. Again. The spirits have trapped us. Don't be daft. You've put my mind at rest. Seems it's not easy for ordinary folks to cross over. So you set us up? Yeah. If you don't have enough, then why not just carry it through a few more times? What? <laughs> you don't have enough? Enough of what? Oh, maybe, maybe it matters on which one you put it into. Possibly. 
Burn all the burn all the fire. That must be the key. I got, I got nothing. Apparently, a lot of people. The spirits have trapped us. Don't be daft. You've put my mind at rest. Oh God. Seems it's not easy for ordinary folks to cross over. Maybe I don't. Yeah. If you don't have enough, then why not just carry it through a few more times? Oh, carry it through a few more times. I'm stupid. I did not understand. Don't put it in the thing. Just come back around. And now I'm going to drown. Rip. Oh. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> Take it easy. Yeah, or maybe not. Rip. All right. Back around again. It won't drown this time. The towel's already dead. Don't even have her yet. It's a world record. There we go. The spirits have trapped us. <laughs> Don't be daft. You've put my mind at We rest. did it now there, man. So you said it. Finally. His brain is growing. I thought we were gonna be trapped in that weird place forever. <laughs> Oh, we were. We were going to, if Huta didn't give us a hint. That's exactly the point. Trespassers end up running scared. She literally said, carry it through. And the first time I said, carry what through? Well, it took me two more times to actually <laughs> get what she was talking about. So that's the weird stuff out of the way, right? Yep. <laughs> Just dive off the edge here. <laughs> All right, now just go ahead and jump off the cliff. Oh, okay. I mean, I, you know, I didn't think it was that big of a cliff. Well, this is the end, boys. Oh, wait. I wasn't actually supposed to die. Supposed to fall in the water. Oh my god. This is uh. <laughs> this is actually supposed to die. Oh, she did say jump off the cliff. Oh my god. This quest is going swimmingly. Well. It could have been if we didn't hit the water. Oh, just get me out of here. So feel free to have a look around and talk amongst yourselves. Soon you'll find out there's nothing special about this place. Wow. Well, that took a turn for the better. This looks great. Can I walk on this on this land or no? Like Shenha? Oh, yeah, it is. Shenha quest. Love this area. All right, let's talk to Lennox. Are you clients? Apologies, this is just a little unexpected. Seeing that it was Hu Tao that brought you puts me at ease, but I'm afraid we don't have the means to entertain guests here. Oh, she needs more lore, more inclusion in the story. This is, this is sick. Who are you? My name is Lan Si. Lan Si. I've been waiting for someone for a long time now. Exactly how long, I couldn't really say. Oh gosh, she's waiting for somebody else to die so she can come to this land? Everyone says waiting is difficult. But walking, watching, talking to newcomers, and the old crowd, it helps to pass the time. Oh my gosh. Just like waiting in the afterlife for someone else to die. Not like in a mischievous way, but just, you know, like you want to see them, so... It's just like literally waiting, passing the time, waiting for him to die. That is sinister, but understandable. I can keep waiting, but who knows whether what I'm waiting for will ever come to pass. It's all the same to me. Waiting's all I can do anyway. But if you too are looking for someone important to you, 
It's best not to keep waiting forever. Well, I I hope you don't like end up here when you actually die. Uh, just end up in Hutao's little land domain. Zooming. Are you new here? What a coincidence! So am I. Atagla. I can't believe how nice the scenery is. I thought it'd be all pitch black and freezing cold with no sense of space or time. Here I can finally work out on lifetime of emotions. It's fantastic. <laughs> Perhaps I just set my expectations too low. I guess this is like the in between death and hell or something. It's pretty peaceful though. They hide a senora for me? Oh, oh, wait. Damn. Senora, where are you? Mo and Xu Yang? What are the odds? Oh god, another clip. Let's check that out. By the way, have you seen Uncle Zhang recently? Uncle Zhang? That guy? I remember him saying it was time for him to move on. Ugh, good for him. I wonder where he's off to next. If you're curious, why don't we go and see for ourselves? They can leave here? Uh, I guess, uh, Big G did. Or did he? You down here before? <laughs> uh, some other time, perhaps. I'd like to stay here for a while. I'd assume so. It looks the same. I missed. This is a pretty interesting quest, said at least. Oh no! That's the the whole game. The lantern right again. Wouldn't it be cool if we got to see the lanterns ourselves one day? What's oh, a memory? You can make a wish without a lantern, you know. My mom told me. As long as you yell it really loud, your wish will come true in the future. Yell it? Isn't that kind of embarrassing? Well, it all depends on your wish. What's your wish? As soon as the first person yells, then everyone else just joins in. And nobody feels embarrassed anymore. <laughs> That's right. Little Wu, you start. All right. I I wish I could open a massive restaurant with never-ending dishes and snacks so I could eat joy you and chili chicken every day. I guess he kind of did do that, huh? I don't know if he has his own restaurant, but does he own Third Round Knockout? <laughs> that's your wish? If that's so funny, what's your wish? To get rich, of course. Do big <laughs> business and make a load of Mora. With Mora, you can do whatever you want and be happy. Oh, P, he got his wish. Yeah, if you get rich, you can buy that super expensive toy box. Oh, and he did too. Not just one, one for everyone. No, loads for everyone. I right, didn't do that. Well, if Momo's gonna be a businessman, then I don't need to earn any money. Whoa, 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 it's tough getting rich. Don't put all the pressure on me. As for me, I want to learn to make Ming Xiao lanterns, the big kind, and Xiao lanterns too. I'll be the best artisan around. And she was. Yeah, that way we need to go to Liwa Harbor to release Xiao lanterns. Uh, anyway, those are our wishes. Mom, Big G, what about you? Me? Huh? They all disappeared. No. Right when he was about to make his wish. What was his wish? This is also a really cool picture to you. It brings back so many memories. That was the last lantern ride the five of us spent together. It's been so long. Everyone's all grown up. Why aren't they going to show how you died? Have all those wishes really come true? Yes, we can prove it to you. We ask each of them for parting gifts for you. Little Wu's become a chef. Momo's a successful businessman. And Tsongzu makes great shell lanterns. Really? Damn. What was his wish? Wow. We've never forgotten our childhood dreams. We've kept them in our hearts as a promise to each other. Anyway. Time to release this lantern. Hey, 
Hey, take a hint. Why is she always smiling? <laughs> Let's give them some space to go over the good old days. Creepy smile. No, I want to see what's going on over here. What happened? Wow, there are even the names of all five of us on it. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, didn't you just say that you release lanterns every year? Do you plan to add more names over the years? Depends on how many friends you make. Like Little Wu's kids and Mumu's wife? Oh. Actually, I have some good news. Mumu's soon to be a father. He's what? been talking about nothing else recently. He's excited and nervous at the same time. God, imagine being dying as like a dying as a child and being able to like see everybody else that you grew up around. That is like I don't even know how to like explain that. That's awful. <laughs> I wonder if such a goofball will make a good father. Well, at least, you know, he gets to see where his friends were. That's that's what counts, I guess. <laughs> no, no, no. You'd be surprised how sharp-witted he is now. Let me tell you. Damn, man. Damn. Why does Genshin always have to be so sad? All the stories are always so sad. I mean, this one's a little bit uplifting, but... Eh. I don't know. Still pretty... pretty sad. Take the hint? Really? Of all of us, you're the one who needs to learn how to read the room! Pylon, please! Do I need to go... Do I need to guard the uh, border? Do I need to guard the border? I can't... I cannot read today. Don't you need to guard the border? Your scope of work is something like I imagined. Really? The end result is the same, though. Exactly what I do and how I do it are just minor technicalities. As I explained, Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was, once upon a time, more akin to a doctor's office than an actual funeral parlor. That's true. I used to be. During the Archon War, piles of corpses covered the wilderness, People were plunged into misery and suffering. Disease was spreading all over the land. Death devastated the world of the living. Hmm. <laughs> the mean's face. Literally, my same face I was just making. Such were the times when the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was first established. As humans, its founders were deemed too insignificant to matter. But slowly, they managed to drive away death. They must have paid a huge price for that. After generations, Liyue Harbor became a bustling hub of prosperity, luring people with dreams of great fame and abundant mora. But in the end, some lunatic stirred up the legacy of the dead. Some lunatic? Who was that? Ah, uh, Lord. By that I mean the remnants of the defeated gods that ravaged the world. I won't go into specifics oh. of that situation, but suffice to say that at its peak, life was on the verge of bringing about its own extinction, while death was coming back with a vengeance. That sounded like not a great time. Not a great time that time. It took a long, long time. Longer than you'd think to restore balance and reinstate the border. Without it, Liyue Harbor as we know it wouldn't be here today. Neither would the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, you or me. Dang. So the, the past director has really made a big difference, huh? Well, I guess Zhang Li as well. I wonder if Zhang Li was the director at some point. I detect or I didn't expect you to be such a storyteller. Can you reveal a bit more? Yes, please. Not a chance. Curiosity no. can be perilous, you know. Don't forget my warning. The less you know, the better. Ah, uh, we're way too far deep into it now to stop now. Come on. What you make of my words is up to you. I do hope that most of it flew over your heads, though. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is just that. A funeral parlor. Nothing more to it. Oh, now it is. Maybe it's for the better? We live in peaceful times. But this harmonious coexistence between life and death should never be taken for granted. Huh? It's about time. 
Let's go. Let's take them to the place where all begins and all goes to rest. The place where all begins and goes to rest. What kind of place is that? I just mean where we first bumped into each other. I come oh. up with fun names for things sometimes, okay? <laughs> no need to hound me with questions about every little thing I say. Oh, Utao's mad. Challenge complete. Oh, God. That was the end of the domain. I assume well, there's still a bit more left to do. That was cool, though. I like how it went from, like, super ominous and scary to very peaceful at the end. And also the puzzle as well. Go back to Wulong Hill and send Big G off. Time to act. It was something that gave Big G all the, uh, what they call it? We did Gifts. everything we could to make you happy, Big G, wouldn't you say? But if you ever really do become an evil spirit and come back with more nefarious nonsense in mind, I may have to forget our friendship and give you a far less fond farewell. Dang. Well, I mean, not wrong. I won't. I promise. <sighs> I'm grateful for everything you've done for me. Now that I know that my friends are doing so well, I have no intention to bother them. I also want to thank you. You made my dream come true, too. Oh, Mong. So you should also mind my warning, Mong. If you won't let go of the past, I might reunite you two sooner than you think. Jesus. All right, now, now that was, that was a bit overboard. <laughs> How can you say such horrendous things with that smile on your face? <laughs> That's what I've been saying the entire time. Last but not least, let's say our goodbyes to Big G. See you later, Big G. Big G. Unfortunate. Wait. Is he just gonna... What's gonna happen to Big G? He's just gonna, like, go back on his own and stay here and, and we're leaving? Or is he going away? Not like that. You won't be seeing him later. Let's stick to goodbye and such. Rip. Yeah, is he just like going into... I don't know, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> no worries. I'll just take my leave. Sag. Big Sag. I'm sorry. Of all the wishes we yelled that day, only ours hasn't come true. You know what Mong's was... Also, I mean, both of them, honestly, like, who's... I mean, Mong, he's, you know, grown up, so at least he can, you know, see the foreseeable future, but... Big G is, uh, yeah. Rip. Nah, don't be bothered by that. No life is without its regrets. You can leave in peace now. All right, I'll remember you all. <sighs> Goodbye. Dang, man. He's gone then. I thought that closure would bring me relief, but all I can feel now is emptiness. Yeah. God, what a... Oh, big, big G. Goodbye. So, what was the wish you two made? We didn't have a chance to hear it earlier. Well, after each of us has started a family and built a career, we want both our families to spend the lantern right together. Oh. What, to start a family and then both all just come together and enjoy the lantern right? Damn. Damn. Yeah, big goodbye is what the big G stands for, unfortunately. Big Sag, man. I, wonder, I still wonder what happened to Big G. Like, how'd he die? Maybe he's like, he was too high up on a cliff or he didn't know his direction and got lost and maybe he took the Chi Chi approach. That's why I envy my friends so much. Little Wu and the rest, they all had a chance to fulfill their wishes. Mine, however, will remain just a dream. 
Yeah, I mean, you can definitely, at least you're still alive. You can do something else. Cheer up, you said a lot ahead of you. That's right. Also, think about this. Everyone gets burned to ash one day. So enjoy your life while you can, and when your duty to Thanks. living is over, you can meet whoever you want again in the afterlife. Isn't that great? Uh, thank <laughs> you. Thank you. I mean, yeah, like, like I said, everything that Hu Tao has said in this entire quest, it's been, it may sound like, well, you know, bizarre, but honestly, it's all technically true. Either it's either true or it's like agreeable with. Like she knows what she's talking about. It's just in a very bizarre manner. Uh, either way, I don't think I'll ever return to Wuong Hill. Oh damn! Okay. I have a lot of feelings to process. No worries. It's a good opportunity for you to go on vacation. Consider your leave approved. Naturally, this doesn't change the terms of our previous agreement. The leave will be unpaid. <laughs> unpaid leave. Rip. Just nothing? Just walks away? Okay. Uh, aren't you forgetting about something? Perhaps so you have us with our, our search? Oh, yeah. I took you to the border and let you have a look around, didn't I? But based on your reaction, it seems like you didn't find what you're looking for. It is a pity indeed. Uh, well, it's not a pity. It's a good. Still alive. <sighs> the biggest pity of all is your lack of help. <laughs> I was fishing around on your behalf through the channels that aren't accessible to you. Wink. Unfortunately, I didn't find any leads worth pursuing either. I'll keep my eyes open in case anything crops up. If so, I'll be sure to let you know. You don't sound like you mean it. I'm not an expert on tracking down the living. However, if you want me to summon someone from the other side of the border. Yeah, I'm Miko. Oh, stop saying creepy stuff. <laughs> Relax. I'll help you look for them. You have my word. Ugh, my exquisite sense of humor always goes unappreciated. I don't think Paimon Traveler know what she means. <laughs> it's like you really like your job. Yeah, she's so like the funeral home director really suits you. That's what I was saying, uh, like halfway through the quest. Like she really does her job well. Like she thoroughly cares for it. So. <laughs> I have my reasons. What are they? Reasons? The spirits we saw near the border are the dead that still long for the world of the living. Spirits we saw near the border are the dead that still long for. Oh, so they want to live still? But I've never seen any of the previous directors there. Not even once. So, where are they? Are they dead dead or? This means that becoming the director of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was the right decision for them. And left them with no regrets. Oh, okay. They died. Happy. All right. That was Hu Tao's quest. That was really good. I thoroughly enjoyed that one. That was really like a different look on uh, like death and whatnot. Which I guess in certain ways is not so bad actually. <laughs> I guess in, in the world of Tibet. Yeah, anywho, yeah, the quest was really good. Um, it really kind of gave me a different look on Hu Tao. I didn't really know much about her anyways in the first place. Um, but based off the first interaction, she was very, you know, bizarre and kind of random. But once you learn more about her, uh, you easily find out that everything that she says kind of makes sense. So, she's actually not really crazy or a weirdo or anything. Just kind of made sense in the end. I hope to see her in more content, though. Like her voice, or voice actor is like really, really good for English. And also, um, the J Japan voice acting is really good, too. She really brought home the sort of like scary weirdo vibe with the voice. So it's, it also feels very real too. It doesn't feel like it's like a robot speaking. Like she felt like it's a real, it's a very good like vocal performance too. Probably up there with one of my favorites, if I had to say, in terms of the meaning of the entire quest. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, uh, the gameplay of Hutao is actually pretty cool. It's like right up my alley. Besides the low health, I'll probably get decked, but 
I like how fast she attacks and everything. And all her animations are cool. 